start it? I mean, obviously, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Obviously, uh, just from that aspect of it. But um, I'm just I'm ready. Obviously, that's not the not the end goal. The end goal is to win games, and and uh, I'm up for the challenge. I'm I'm um, I'm privileged to lead such a such a great quarterback room. I, I think we had a, an incredible camp as as a group in, in its entirety. I mean, Quentin Flowers has come a long way since day one. Um, Evan Wilson's also shown what he can do, which what we've known he can do. Now he's putting it out on the field. And obviously, Steven played played one hell of a camp too. I mean, as a whole, uh, I think you can attest to Coach Reeves too is just kind of getting this right. But as a whole, I think we played we played amazing, and it shows how how when you get good quarterback play, the offense moves. And then, like I said, we're ready to just go and win games. And, and I'm up for the challenge, and hopefully, I can lead this team. What did you learn about yourself through this whole battle? Um, I, I did a lot of maturing throughout this battle, you know, um, being a being a kind of a young guy, but but being in a quarterback position, you know, everyone looks up to you. So I learned I learned how to mature in that aspect. I also learned uh, the kind of ins and outs of the quarterback position. This is my first real off season of having football as an off season. You know, kind of working on the the little things you don't really think about. You know, like the mental aspect of it, the leadership, and all that. I learned that, like I said, I mean, every play isn't going to be a 70 yard touchdown. Every place, sometimes you're going to have to throw it away. Sometimes you're just going to have to take what the defense gives you and live to see another down. And I think that's what I learned the most is just kind of taking what they give me and just kind of dinking and dunking them down the field and taking the shots when they're there because they'll be there. You know, when we have guys like Rodney Adams and Andre Davis and Deontay Welch who can stretch a defense vertically and kind of make a move and stuff, I mean, the shots will be there. I just got to learn. We got to learn, which I think we've done, we've done a great job is, is kind of taking the shots when they're there and, and taking the flats and, and the kind of check downs when they're there as well. Did you throw the pass that Andre caught today that had everybody going crazy, or did you see it? Uh, today? Yeah. Yeah, I threw that pass in the back of the end zone. I mean, it was one of his uh, signature one-hand catches. I mean, I told him, I go, you need to start getting some new tricks because it's starting to get old. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, I mean, it's just it's just who Andre Davis is. I mean, he's one heck of a receiver, and, I'm, and shoot, I mean, with, with, when you have a receiver like that, you kind of – kind of feel the need that you know what I, I kind of I don't want to let him down because you know he's going to make a play and when you have something like that it just makes you want to it makes you want to work for a guy like that that it kind of gives his all no matter what even if you throw a bad ball he's going to go up and if, it's, if it means knocking it down and avoiding an interception you know that's just the kind of receiver he is and yeah he's starting to get accustomed to those uh, one-hand catches so hopefully he can show something new. How would you describe your confidence level? Uh, you know I feel really confident I feel like I'm seeing the field well you know I feel like I have the the offense down pat. I've gotten to the point where I can start teaching it to the young, younger dudes, teaching it to guys like Quentin. And I feel like once you can teach an offense, that's when you feel like you've known it the most. Like when you're at the, the peak of your knowledge. And, and I think that's helped a lot is kind of helping Quentin along and helping these younger guys and, and just stuff like that. I mean, I, I feel confident. The team feels confident. I think that's that's the most important thing is that we feel confident as an offense and as a team in itself and we're ready to just go out there and, and last year was tough you know kind of letting down the defense at times because they would play their butts off and we kind of we didn't help them in, in certain situations but we're ready to go out there and, and back this team and, and help win some ball games. What's the first thing you did when we told you you got the job? First thing I did was I called my mom. I had to tell her but um, actually we didn't uh, we, we found out before the team meeting obviously you know as soon as I got, as soon as I got to my phone, because obviously the rule is no phones in the meeting room. So as soon as I got to my phone, I had to call my parents and let them know. But I mean, I was excited. I'm just now, now it's really it's crunch time. You know, we got we got a week till basically a week till game week, and that's that's when the when it all gets put to the test when we take the take the field at seven o'clock to play Western. I mean, I was I'm excited. The team's excited. We're ready. I mean, they've rallied behind me. And they're awesome, and they, they support me, and we're ready to get this W. Is there anything that you can say or do now that you're hesitant to say or do as a freshman? Oh uh, yeah, you know, being a freshman, I was kind of a little tentative, you know, kind of getting on people, trying to be a leader, because it's just a freshman, and you don't want to kind of have players look at you and be like, who are you, you're a freshman type deal, which they didn't, which I thought they did a great job, is they respected me, and I appreciate them for that. I feel like I had a year of experience. I know how it, how it works. I kind of tested the ropes a little bit, and now I know what it takes, and we know what it takes as an offense is, and we're kind of we're pretty good about building people up. And, you know, we don't really have to get on people as leaders. You know, some of the leaders. Um, I mean, we're ready. I'm really, I'm lucky. I'm privileged. I'm. We're ready to take on the challenge, and we're ready to get to work.